this week at Upper Room. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Everyone is invited to join us for the Upper Room Baptism Service to be held this evening at 5 p.m. All candidates should arrive at the church by 4.15 p.m. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Upper Room Men's Department President Elder Anthony M. Wilson is asking every man to meet him this Tuesday morning, February 28th at 6 a.m. for the fourth Tuesday morning prayer. The number to participate is 701-791-9304 and an access code is not required. It is also not necessary to announce your arrival to the call, so please be sure to mute your phone when joining. Everyone is invited to intercessory prayer to be held Wednesday, March 1st at 6.30 p.m. Please join us in the sanctuary around the altar. Tammy Fitzgerald and the NC Values Coalition are calling for all pro-life supporters to help save 26,000 babies per year in North Carolina. Your presence is requested and needed Tuesday, February 28th or Wednesday, March 1st between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. to encourage legislators to pass a heartbeat act, which will limit abortion once the heartbeat is detected. Pro-life supporters will gather both days at 16 West Jones Street, first floor 1000 Court of the Legislative Building. Those who can and will, please show your support by wearing a baby blue shirt. More details have been sent via Constant Contact. Elder Clarence Rayford and the Upper Room Music and Fine Arts Department are excited to host a music ministry social and information session to be on Wednesday, March 1st at 7.30 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. You're invited to an evening filled with fun, food, and giveaways. All Sanctuary Choir members should attend as we gear up for a power-packed year. Sopranos, altos, and tenors, experienced or beginners, if you are interested in joining the Sanctuary Choir, we need you. Information about the music department will be provided and a state of the choir address will be given by Elder Clarence Rayford. There is strength in numbers, so visit the tables in the front lobby for additional information. We look forward to seeing you March 1st. The Feet of Praise dancers are gearing up for dance training sessions. Exciting things are planned during this time of dance intensive. All who are interested in joining Feet of Praise should contact Sister Tabitha Rayford. For additional information and rehearsal dates, send an email to feetofpraise at gmail.com. The Youth Department has resumed in-person youth Bible study and is calling on all elementary, middle, and high school students to participate. Meet us right here at the Upper Room, Church of God in Christ, every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. The theme is The Lord is the Strength of My Life, and we look forward to seeing the Youth Department well represented in Bible study. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt His name together. If you are in or visiting the Raleigh area and looking for an opportunity to gather with the saints for a God-first experience, the Upper Room is pleased to offer two services every Sunday morning. Join us at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. for Sunday worship service in the sanctuary. You can also join the Upper Room Church of God in Christ every Sunday at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. for the live stream of our services on Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. will bring a fresh word from the Lord relevant to our times and equip you to contend for the faith. Thank you to our viewers throughout the United States and abroad for your weekly support of our broadcast. Please be reminded there are several ways to give to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. For online giving, please visit easytithe.com forward slash URC. Also, please use only one email address for each Easy Tithe account so we can properly track your giving. Within Easy Tithe, you can now initiate the Recur option, which allows you to select a designated amount to be automatically deducted from your account. You may also visit our website, upperroomgospel.org, and select the Giving tab. Or you can mail your gift to the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, Post Office Box 447, Garner, North Carolina, 27529. As always, thank you very much for supporting the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Ladies, Second Tuesday Night Sisters Bible Study, Strength, Intensifying Your Prayer Life, is only two weeks away and will begin March 14th. This experiential study will explore four critical components necessary for intensifying your prayers and moving the heart of God. Registration packets are ready for pickup, so please visit the tables in the lobby and hallways and get yours today. Everyone is encouraged to support Bishop Wooden for his upcoming preaching engagements. He will be the speaker for the Greater Triangle District Meeting, hosted by Superintendent Will Nichols and held Tuesday, February 28th at 7 p.m. The service will take place at Victorious Praise Church of God in Christ, located at 2116 Page Road in Durham. 
He will also be the speaker for the South Carolina District Meeting, hosted by Superintendent Tommy Quick and held Friday, March 3rd at 7.30 p.m. The service will take place at the Promised Land Church of God in Christ, located at 150 Kensington Drive, Spartanburg, South Carolina. Finally, Bishop Wooden will be the speaker for the Success District Meeting, hosted by Superintendent Christopher Stone, and held Wednesday, March 8th at 7.30 p.m. The service will take place at Unity Worship Center Church of God in Christ, located at 1106 East Webb Avenue in Burlington. Please govern yourselves accordingly with this week's announcements. 